Okay, so here's what I'm trying to do. I've got this Otlight lamp that doesn't work very well. Um, I mean, it turns on, there's a delay. There's probably supposed to be a delay. But the issue is that it flickers a lot. Like, you, might not, you probably won't be able to see it in the video, but just after a few minutes, it just wavers in brightness, and it's really annoying. So, I mean, it's got this fluorescent light on it. Um, there's like four pins. It's probably slightly visible in the video. Um, so this fluorescent light, it has a ballast. And the ballast is all the way over here, um, where it plugs into the wall. And I think there's something wrong with the ballast, or it just was never really designed well in the first place. So what I did is I found a compatible LED lamp. Okay, the power's turned off. So I found this on, like, uh, what was it AliExpress for, like, nine dollars or something. So this is a an LED uh, drop-in replacement for the fluorescent bulb. Now the catch is that it doesn't use a ballast, so you need to directly wire uh, two of these pins into the uh, 120 volt uh, power. It says on the other side of this it mentions like 85 to 260 something volts, so there's a switching power supply inside here. Um, so I've got this uh, very dangerous uh, alligator clip thing that I don't want to touch. Uh, but the point is, I have it connected to this uh, switch. So when I turn this on, it will illuminate. And yes. So, what I would like to do is take this lamp and put it inside the ot light, and then remove the ballast and replace it with a, a regular, just, uh, power cord. So, this seems straightforward enough. Um, I just have to open up the light and figure out if there's, I think there may be some extra electronics inside the, or near where the bulb attaches to the light, so I need to splice that out. Uh, basically these two black wires connect to the outside pins, and the inside pins just connect to this bundle of, of whatever it is. So I think all I need to do is snip these blue wires. I wonder if I even have to. Uh, no, I'm going to be removing the ballast, so there's no point in having whatever this, uh, it's probably some kind of starter in the middle. So yeah, I'll just snip the blue wires and leave the black ones intact. Because they... Ooh, that's much better lighting. Yeah, you can see there's already, you know, it's already, the black wires are just wired correctly. And they go through the, the toggle switch here. So, yeah. Okay, so here, here's what we've got. This thing has been removed. Don't need the ballast anymore. Uh, I have this non-UL listed uh, junction here that I'm going to clean up later, assuming that it actually works. Uh, I've got the the LED bulb plugged into the socket, and this doesn't do anything yet. Let's make sure it's off. Okay, it's off right now. Okay, so, fire extinguisher is over there, but I don't think I should need it. Okay, I'm going to power this on, and nothing happened. Good. Uh, next, I will flip on this switch, and this is the moment of truth. Huzzah! LED! And there you have it. The LED converted hot light. Um, so all I have to do now is, uh, well, let me turn off the main power here. Um, yeah, I just need to get the soldering iron and uh, clean up that joint a bit. Uh, add some solder and electrical tape so that it sticks together. And then I'm done. So that was really easy. Um, this is the piece that I removed. Um, there's some kind of circuit board in here. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm not using it anymore. Okay, so here's the connection, just covered in solder. Um, nothing interesting there. Okay, so this is the uh, completed connection. I wrapped it around a bit for strain relief. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's already working, but let's plug it in and see.
Ta-da! So this is instant on, whereas the fluorescent would take like one to turn on. So, yep, completed project, the LED at light.